Good afternoon, folks. Uh, today is the Night 8 review of the Safa Classic Queen Size 14 and a half inch plush soft mattress. Um, it's snowy up here in New York, which is interesting because we've had a lack of snow. And we've been having a lack of sleep, too. What I can tell you is two nights ago, the seventh night, awful night. Last night, however, I think the exhaustion of not sleeping the night before and having rough sleep really kicked in. We were both sacked out real early, slept all night long, and it, it was nice. Um, I have come to have a healthy respect for the edges of this mattress. I caught myself at one point literally hanging off it, and it was holding me in. That was nice. Um... But it's still pretty firm. I can't say that I've experienced any remarkable changes in the firmness over the course of, let's see, eight nights. Yeah, it feels the same. It really does. Um, I got a comment on a video about the, the outsourcing of manufacturing of some of these online companies. And I'd be lying if I said I spent any time really looking into it. But it's... It really did get me thinking, and I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is look a little closer at that. So, I think we all know, at least those of us who who engage in any type of business operations, we, we know, we've heard of things like minimum viable products and whatnot, and so what we do is we understand that if you want to start a company and you want to start a brand and you want to make your product, you have to start with your minimum viable product, and a lot of times that means you're going to outsource the manufacturing of whatever you come up with. My understanding from the comment, and I haven't double checked yet, but I will double check, is that there are 19, if memory serves, different manufacturing facilities, outsourced manufacturing facilities for the Safa mattress, which begs the question is, what are the quality assurance protocols in place at those different manufacturing facilities to ensure that the mattress the plush soft queen mattress I get is the same as say one in Fresno, California. Unsure. I went back to the card and it looks like the tag on this says that it was made in New Jersey. So it's about six hours away, seven hours away as uh, as, as the car moves. Um, but let's say for sake of argument the quality assurance standards are, are great and they use all the same materials just in different locations then you know the outsourcing isn't necessarily an issue and stuff has been around long enough now and it's a big enough brand with enough revenue that I have to assume the craftsmanship is going to be the same regardless of the location but it's definitely something to consider with uh, one of these manufacturers for instance purple has its own manufacturing facility or facilities I don't know if it's one or multiple but they make it very clear in all of their marketing videos and their their science videos about how they came up with their purple waffle product and how they make their mattresses and test them and package them you can find those videos either on their website or floating around the web or on YouTube or or wherever and and that's really interesting. You don't you don't see that with Safa. And you also don't see that with a lot of the other manufacturers out there. Um, probably due to an outsourcing situation. So it's it's really interesting to think about that maybe even though I ordered a plush soft and we're supposed to get a plush soft and it's so hard because maybe the quality standards weren't there. But these are all maybes. We don't really know. I am gonna spend a little time over the course of this weekend though looking it up. It's really something to consider. Um, overall though, there's no real exceptions to the way we've been sleeping and the way it's been feeling um, each night on this mattress. And what I can tell you is we're more than a week in. We're eight nights in. I still haven't heard when the special order Stearns and Foster is going to come in. So I mean, we're going to be on this for probably three weeks, maybe a little bit longer. And, you know, I... I I keep my fingers crossed that it gets a little more comfortable. But I did find out in looking at the Safa return policy that 
when Sattva gets a mattress back, for whatever reason, whether it doesn't work for us or um, it's the wrong size or however it works, we pay the $99, they pick it up and refund us the rest of the money. They do one of two things with it. They either um, provide it to their employees who might be in need of a mattress or just on some type of employee appreciation type situation. I suspect that's going to be more for the we changed our mind after one night, two night type things, um, or maybe never slept in mattresses. I'm not sure. That's just my speculation. Or they donate them to veterans shelters and other housing organizations for veterans. So I can really respect that. And it it makes me almost want to send it back more knowing that it's going to get donated to a place where somebody can actually get use out of it. So that's the socially conscious part of me speaking, but I, I like that. I like that they're not just going to take it back, try to refurbish it, and then resell it. Um, I like that it's going to go out there and get used by someone who really needs it. Anyways, like I said, pretty unexceptional, un unexceptional review today. Uh, just an idea of a couple of things I'm going to look at. And... Uh, We'll talk later. Until next time, sleep well.